evening, and we're on our way to Grand Slam Tennis, Return Arsenal's Rackets. They have this loaner program that uh, you can rent rackets like week to week, and you can choose which ones you're most comfortable with. It's a program for like beginners. On a program, you're putting down a down, uh, down payment racket that you might buy in the future. It's very affordable. Right, we're almost close to Grand Slam, and we just heard some really, uh, you know, odd news. Dwayne Casey got an extension, three years, 18 million. And the other uh, bit of news we found out is Jeff Hornacek has been officially signed by the Knicks for three years, five million annually. That's too much. Well, if you look at Tom Thibodeau got 10 for uh, owner, I mean, uh, control as well. And those salaries don't count against the cap, do they? No, they just count against uh, James Dolan's pockets. <laughs> So, but uh, <laughs> you know, he just gets he loses the money. It's but, good. It's yeah, good. Yeah. A billionaire should lose a little money. Yeah. You know, if he's yeah. ruining the team, if you hear this, uh, James Dolan, sell the ding to some an owner who cares. Sell them to us. Yeah, we'll buy. You it. know, we'll put in a file. We'll get one of those. What do they call it? The uh, GoFundMe. Uh, GoFundMe sites. Yep. And you know, we'll be able to uh, you know get a billion dollars, you know, or something like that. And I don't know how much the things are worth, but you know, somewhere in that range. Well, so, but uh, Jeff Hornacek finally was uh, hired. And I think the Knicks had a huge gala for him. It's a good step for the Knicks because they're getting away from the triangle. So Phil Jackson's kind of taking a step back, not taking full control. So I don't know what happened to Kurt Rambis. We still don't know what happened to him. It's going to be funny as hell. I wish I was there for that conversation between Phil Jackson and Kurt Rambis. <laughs> where Phil picks up the phone and says, Kurt, uh, I'm sorry, you're out. It's like, what? You know, I, I could have taken a coaching job somewhere else. You know? uh, Kurt and uh, Phil are like best friends. Getting a call from your best friend saying that, yeah, you didn't get the job. Yeah. After the the best friend basically controls who gets the job. Right, Dwayne Casey. He's got a three year, I think, $18 million. Yeah, that's actually. unbelievable. Three years, oh. $18 million. Yeah, and I thought it was enough, but this guy thinks it's not. If uh, Hornacek gets $5 million a year, how does a coach who got to the first conference finals for their franchise get only six? Maybe they're trying to make Drake the new manager. Oh, oh no. In the future. He'll become the first ambassador, coach, and then once he becomes coach, he'll put himself yeah. as a player too. Yeah, the problem with Drake is even in losses he wins. He'll be like, I was waiting for that other team, man. <laughs> It'd be cool though, because you could do all the intros for each of the players. Right, exactly. You know, he'd have some music for all of them. He'd drop yeah. a whole album yeah. just based on Yeah, the, the Raptors, Raptors, the Raptor album. <laughs> Still, at least the Knicks have uh, some hope now with uh, Hornacek oh, okay. running and then uh, Porzingis as their franchise player going forward. Knicks are looking to uh, buy a second round pick because they want a point guard in the draft and to help run Hornacek's uh, offense. Right? It's a really? point guard dominant. It's That's good news. Maybe the Knicks can uh, get that going too. Uh, there have been many players that have uh, done well in uh, the second round, you know. And the Parsons, Jamon Green have become all-star and, you know, star kind of players. So maybe the with new management and a new coach, maybe they can hit. Yeah, they already hit a home run last draft. So personally, if they can get up and get a trade, a trade and get Chris Dunn, that would be amazing. That'd be awesome. But uh, I don't know. We'll uh, see. We're at Grand Slam Tennis, right here. But yeah, uh, I'm here to exchange rackets that I have. Oh, okay. Einer's got them. Yeah, we're gonna head inside. Guys, uh, I just got back from Grand Slam Tennis exchange rackets. So they said that I wanted a heavier racket. They didn't have them in, so they reserved it for me for next week. But So hopefully that works out. I'm going to play with these new rackets that they gave me now and see how they feel. Uh, now that, you know, Jeff Hornacek is the coach, and uh, it looks like he does not he's not going to be forced to run the triangle. Thank you know, God. You know, those are, those will make, you know, he's going to be able to run his own offense. So this bodes well, obviously, for Melo. This bodes well for also for Porzingis, because they're mostly catch-and-shoot guys, and they like playing in a faster offense. There's less iso ball, that which is what Melo usually plays, and he can play more team ball and improve his game. So in his previous years with Phoenix, uh, one of the biggest things that has helped his offense is guard play. If you look at the uh, Knicks roster, they don't have that many guard, good, gu you know, quality guards. You know, Aaron Flowers is a free agent. I don't think they're going to bring him back. Calderon's in his last year, but he's 35, so he's not part of the future. Grant is uh, has played his first full year, has had some up, ups and downs, you know. He's pretty good, but I think uh, at this point, he's better off the bench. He's more suited for the bench. And then they have Lance Gallo, who's a restricted free agent. They probably will bring him back. But uh, no point guard. You know, Tony Roden is coming off injury. Could be a possibility. But uh, most likely, they're going to have to go sign someone or trade for someone. As well as upgrade the two guard as well. 
because they need help there. So in the front court, they're pretty set. Jeff Hornacek to have success. The Knicks need to go get some guards this summer. This summer, there are plenty of guys. You know, Mike Conley and Ronda are the two biggest point guards available. You have also DeRozan, who's probably going to be a free agent. They could always bring back Aaron Aflala, who's you know he's going to be a free agent. And then uh, you have some second-tier point guards like Mario Chalmers. Uh, Darren Collison was on my list, not anymore. He's gone to domestic violence uh, issues. Mario Chalmers, another guy coming off injury. And uh, even Chandler Parsons is going to be going for agent. Is an option on the wing for them. In previous years, I would say that uh, the Knicks had no shot at any of these guys. Phil Jackson's name and reputation will help bring some of it. As the Knicks are playing better, the addition of Porzingis as a, you know, a potential superstar will attract free agents, you know. Unicorn. Yeah, New York being a destination. You know, players like Mike Conley who play in Memphis, coming to New York, he'll be able to build his brand and, you know, make more money off the court. This year, at least, we have the right coach. Every, you know, all the NBA guys like Jeff Hornacek, they think he's going to be the right coach. And we have the right superstars. We have Melo and Porzingis. Now it's about building the rest of this roster and making it a playoff team. It would be a, you know, a steal if we could get one of these two guys. You know, Rondo is a pass-first point guard, so, and uh, Mike Connolly. The good thing is he's tough on defense in New York because the pressure in New York has, you know, we've been without 40-plus years without a championship. And Knicks fans are some of the most, you know, demanding fans in the NBA. The amount of stuff that has happened to the Knicks franchise, the amount of executives that have gone through, the amount of coaches that have gone through, and the amount of times that the organization has messed itself up by hiring the wrong people or drafting the wrong players or even signing the wrong players. With Jeff Hornacek coming in, Christoph Singh is doing well, developing well under Phil Jackson. You know, our goal this year should be get back to the playoffs, enter the second round, try to get to the conference finals. But I think in the next two years, the Knicks should become a powerhouse if they make the right move, sign the right people. If you uh, want more information about the Knicks guy, you know, check out my my blog at allaboutknicks at sportsblog.com. Check us out, you know, follow our YouTube, you know, share this, you know, um, subscribe, like it.